What is going on YouTube? My name is Matt and I'm going to bring you all some more dramatics. More Pokemon Scarlet, but this time with the DLC for all you Poke fans out there. Last episode, we... Oh, where do I want to go? I want to go to the entrance. We became champions yet again of another league. This time, the BB League, the Blueberry League of Blueberry Academy. And we settled the score with Kieran, maybe, kind of. Who knows? Not really. I don't know. Because he was still pissed off. <laughs> so, I guess we still have that. That still has to fully resolve. But we have more to do. We got more to do. So, that's pretty much the only thing that happened, really. Last episode, you know, and then now we have uh, extra news from uh, Briar. Miss Briar, as you can see over there in front of us, is with Carmen and Kieran. We are planning on going back to Paldia, to the Area Zero, and find the hidden treasure of Area Zero. The whole fucking reason we're doing this goddamn DLC. So let's go talk to Miss Briar. I didn't mean to get so mad there. It's just like I love. I get so excited when they do when they do the thing when the the title of the stuff comes up. The title of Hidden Treasure of Area Zero and Indigo Disc because I got an Indigo Disc now. Eh. So okay, you get it. Let's just talk to Miss Briar. Kiki's quiet, awfully quiet, awful quiet. I hope he's okay. He was so bent out of shape when he lost Area Zero. Right? Come on, let's go. I want to get started. He is not happy. He is not happy. All right, let's talk to Miss Briar. Are you ready to travel to Area Zero, Matthew? Yes. Yes. Splendid. We're finally ready to set off then. Are you two feeling all right? Well, enough to travel at least? Well, I'm, I'm fine anyway. Yeah, me too. I've had time to calm down. Oh, well, that's good. I'm fine. I know what I have to do now. I'll find this legendary Pokemon in Area Zero, no matter what it takes. That's the spear, Karen. She's just happy because she wants to find that shit. All right, then, shall we? She just wants to study it. We're flying back, though. Look at the Dragonite. Whew, you can hear it. You can hear the engines of the plane roaring. Oh, we're already here. This ooh, we're already at area zero. Huh? We made it! I'm I'm finally here. Area zero, the place I've dreamed about for years. Whoa, this is incredible. Wowzers. Huh? <laughs> he said wowzers again. Uh, so you've been here before, right, Matt? Yeah, with my friends. Friends, huh? Ay, ay, he's back. Eek, you scared me. Honestly, you're too big to come popping out like that. Or what you, Madon? Aki, ah! So you came here with Matthew back then too, huh? Oh, you must be that Pokemon that was reportedly first discovered in Area Zero. I'm very intrigued by this specimen, but alas, that's not what we're here for. We're here to go to the depths, deepest depths of Area Zero and see what's even deeper. Why is that highlighted? What do you mean by even deeper? Heath mentioned in his writings that he fell from the depths to some place even deeper. Wait, hold on. Doesn't the depths imply he was as deep as he could go? Yes. It's quite curious, isn't it? <laughs> However, Heath also wrote that he was utterly unable to recall how he got down there. If his writings were are to be believed, there must be an entire uncharted space below Area Zero. Well, either way, we should start by making for the Zero, er, zero Lab down in the depths. You take the lead, Matthew. Of course. Why wouldn't it be me? Alright. 
Oh. Okay, well, we could catch Pokemon now, I guess, here. A lot more. Maybe. I don't, I don't need you. We can ride Coridon now. That's a lot, a lot better. <laughs> and my map, my map doesn't move. I don't know. Like, it's just, I'm just there. Is that supposed to happen? All right. Um, I don't know why I'm going this way. I'm just looking for stuff. Oh. Nope, cry down, cry down, come on, buddy. There we go, get up. That's a Corviknight. I think I already have one. So let's just go jumping towards the depths. Do I have, I don't think I have one of you. A Slitherwing. Oh, I do. Sorry. Excuse me, sir. Do I have a Raichu? Just a wild Raichu over there. I don't even know if I've had a Pikachu. I've had had a Raichu. Huh. See, I've had so many, I don't even remember who I've gotten. Five. I already got a gir for Giraffe for Rig. And a frick for F, I think. A nice little luxury ball. I'm pretty sure I have a Braviary. Uh, 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 just take it. Oh! I thought I could glide up again. So I let go of the glide. Oh, nothing around here. I have, I have a Sandy Shocks, right? I'm pretty sure. I don't! Okay, cool. First Pokemon I've seen that I don't have. I thought I did have the Sandys. Come on. You son of a bitch. Metal sound. I'm giving you the sound of metal. I'm gonna put him to sleep. I just I can't. Clearly, I can't attack. I'm almost double his <laughs> his. Uh, well, you know, almost but Clearly, I'm a lot higher level than he is. So I'm gonna put him to sleep. Hopefully that helps. Oh, screeching man. Ooh. Son of a beach. This ain't gonna matter. Go to sleep, come on. Okay, dude. Nice. Nice. Hmm. Uh, is <clears throat> is area zero is technically a cave? You know, so would the dust ball work here always? You know, like better here? Yeah, let's just try an ultra ball. No, got two shakes. Got two shakes. And one, one, I needed one more. Come on. Yes, there we go. I guess technically four, because there's three, and then it, the last one is the closing. The snapshot. Okay, Sandy Shocks. No records exist of this Pokemon being caught, except now, wink wink, data is lacking, but the Pokemon's traits match up with the creature shown in an expedition journal. Cool, electric and ground. That's a pretty sick Pokemon. Nice. Okay, so those are the ones I don't have. I don't have the the bonnet one, the one, the like the the brute bonnet, the look, the Amoongus look at that one, right here. Ah, <laughs> this is the one I don't have. And then there was another one. I'll see when I catch this one. 
No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the quick ball. Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's fine. Either way, no, it don't matter. I can't see the ground, but I can see Greninja's butt. That's great. Brute Bonnet. Is it? It is possible that this creature, that the creature listed as Brute Bonnet in a certain book could actually be this Pokemon. A certain book. I wonder what book that could be. Maybe the Scarlet book? Or I guess Violet if you're playing Violet. But we're not playing Violet. We're playing Scarlet. So... Yeah, what is the other one? Oh, Fluttermane. And then Great Tusk. No. I have a U, Screamtail. I don't need you. Alright, let's see if we can keep getting... Lower. Oh god, it's all cloudy. It's crazy. We just gotta jump down into it. Hooah! Look at this view, though. Is there a way that just goes straight up there? We're falling. We're falling. Okay. Hey. Oh wait, I think I'm going back or don't I? Yeah, that, no, I'm going. Shit. I got you. A Glamora. Got a Glamora. Oh, there's a research lab across the way. That's the one I think that got destroyed. Pretty sure. One over there. So the zero lab should be more this way. Oh no! Oh, ca caught! Great catch, Karadon. Good catch. Great tusk. We need you. Don't have you. I'm trying to get this Pokédex done. Quick ball. Next. Face. Come on. Hold still, hold, yes, okay. Nice, got the great tusk. Oh wait, I don't think I have a... Sightings of this Pokemon have occurred in recent years. The name Great Tusk was taken from a creature listed in a certain book. A certain book. I don't think I have the... The moon one either. This one. Oh, it's crawling. I didn't really crawl like that. That's cool. Yeah, the Roaring Moon. I don't have that one either. The Salamance looking. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Thank you. I do it. Will a dust ball work more? Like, like, like in a cave? gonna work. Oh shoot. Come on. Ah, damn it. Got two shakes. Because he's dark. Fire and dark. Come on. Come on, Ultra Ball. Hold tight! Yes. We're just catching him, filling that Pokedex. It is possible that this is the creature listed as Roaring Moon in an expedition journal that still holds many mysteries. These are so vague. <laughs> these, are, these are so, like, not good entries at all. <laughs> Oh wow, Roaring Moon is way back there. Got Brute Bonnet, I don't need you. Alright. Oh no. Huh. 
Oh, there's the zero lab, I think. Did it? No. Where am I going? Let's just follow this way. I think if we go this way, this is going down. So if we keep going down, that's a good sign. Dipping, dodging. I'm just. I don't need to fight any Pokemon. If I, if I see one I need, I'm gonna catch it. I don't need a lot. Yep, here's the zero lab. All right, cutscene. Whoa, this place is insane. It reminds me of the crystal pool. This is the zero lab, I take it. This structure is exterior. It matches Gita's description, at least. So this is the deepest point in Area Zero? Right. Well, yes and no. This is the deepest point that the Area Zero expedition managed to reach long ago. Yes, true. You know, I've been told that the lowest level of this laboratory contained a mysterious room whose purpose is entirely unknown. However, where I want to go is even deeper than that. So, you're saying we should head inside this zero lab? Gate's closed, though. No shit, genius. Uh, you're right. Uh, <laughs> what do we do now, Matthew? You've been here before, right? We need. We gotta disable the lock. Wow, sir, this feels like a spy movie or something. Way cool. What? I didn't say anything. <laughs> well then, can we count on you to unlock the gate, Matthew? Just, you know, leave it to me. No problem. <laughs> Could get on it. Open the zero gate. Open the gate to the zero lab. Access revoked due to prolonged inactivity. Entrance locked. What? What's the matter? Something wrong with it? It opened before though, right? Is there something extra or some is there some extra step we're missing? There were four locks before and yeah, there's a whole thing. I see, so last time you went through a series of steps to unlock the gate, and the professor was also there to guide you from inside. Beep boop. Indigo disc detected. Indigo disc detected. It's Talking! Oh my God! It said the thing. That's what I was. That's, uh, that's what I'm saying. It's getting exciting now. That said the thing. The title. The title. Insert Indigo Disc for greater access privileges. Insert Indigo Disc. Please insert Indigo Disc. Relax. It's just one of those computerized voices. It's not any different than a TM machine. <laughs> Indigo Disc. What could it mean by that? Oh, Gita gave you a mysterious item before we departed? Did she? You think that's it? Oh, how fun! Go on, Matthew, do it! You have my permission. Thanks, Carmen. I didn't realize I needed it. Please insert Indigo Disc. In you go, Disc! <laughs> Goodbye. See, you think Indigo Disc is talking about Blueberry Academy, because it's blue. And it's a big circle thing in the middle of the ocean, but no, it's actually talking about that disc. That disc! Area Zero Lab Elevator redirected to Area Zero Under Depths. Rumble, rumble. What? Look at that, it opened! Let's head on in. Like, just stoically staring at the entrance to the door. Oh, God. Where are we going? This doesn't look safe. Alright, so this is where the professor's robot was. Huh. Is this the time machine? Or is the time machine this thing? What is this whole contraption for? She slipped. Like, I, we never really got a closer look over here. 
at the professor stuff. Like, he's just all messed up. Oh, cutscene. It's way too dark in here. I just smacked my head on something. That's because you're just running around without any idea where you're going. Wow, Kiki. Sounds like someone's finally breaking out of their funk, hmm? Shut it. Where's Miss Briar, anyway? She's busy ru <laughs> She's busy rummaging through, like, a whole stack of documents over there. Aren't those someone's private photos and stuff? We probably shouldn't be looking at all that. Huh, you're awfully considerate all of a sudden. Oop, door. With buttons. Down button. Hit the button down. Miss Briar, look, an elevator. Maybe it can take us down further? You want to go down, right? Down, you say? <laughs> oh my, did you use this elevator last time to reach the mysterious room I mentioned earlier? Sure did. Oh, that's where... Oh, the time machine down in the depth. Depths. The lower. Okay, right. Sorry. How exciting! Well, we've no time to waste. Let's go down. Beep. So bright, you can't even see. Yeah, that's right. I remember now. Now I remember. <laughs> With the professor bot. Oh, wonderful. This elevator just keeps going further and further down. That's what elevators do. You know, it's pretty it's moving pretty fast actually. It almost feels like I'm floating. Hey, everyone. That panel we used to unlock the gate, didn't it say something about where the elevator goes? Now that you mention it, yeah, it's something about an elevator being redirected, right? As far as I know, there is only one elevator inside the Zero Lab. So the panel must have been referring to the elevator we're currently inside. So, where exactly is this thing taking us? Ho ho ho! Where indeed! <laughs> She's crazy! She lost it. She has lost her marbles. Oh my! My goodness! A lot of jewels. I mean, it looks kind of just like the other... So what? We're under... Are we under Area Zero or something? Yes, according to my data, our current position is far deeper than we were... Where we were last time. Could the elevator have taken us even further down than its previous destination? Man, Area Zero was already a lot to take in. I don't think anything's gonna surprise me at this point, no matter what we run into. <laughs> hey... What? All this stuff. Oh! What are deaths doing down here? Oh my, oh my, this is... This is a report written by the esteemed Professor Sada. A massive cavern exists beneath Area Zero, and there slumbers Terrapagos, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Oh my god, the thing, the title, the said it again. This is so exciting. I knew they were, obviously, they're talking about Terrapagos. Where, what else would they, would they... They, you know, I knew that's what they were talking about. They weren't talking about the terrestrialization. They were talking about the Pokemon that makes it happen. Its body has become crystal, protecting it from hostile, hostile outsiders. It appears that uh, rousing it will take some time. In this cavern, I've witnessed a terrestrial phenomenon occurring in a way I've never seen above ground. Terrestrialization that appears to hold the power of every known type. I have no. I have dubbed this Terra type the Stellar type for now. Could Tropagos, Tropagos's influence be at play? Tropagos is the hidden treasure of Area Zero, and it's slumbering in the form of a crystal. And what is this about Stellar Terra type? Brilliant! Absolutely marvelous! To think there was such a so much that Heath didn't write about. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. These documents are veritable treasure trove. 
and we've only just begun our expedition. I don't know how she gets so excited in a bizarre place like this. The legendary Pokemon Terrapagos. That's the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Come on, let's hurry up and go further in. I still haven't gotten my fill of these documents, but okay, let's go. <laughs> it would be best to discover the truth with our own eyes, after all. Let's keep moving. Stay on guard, everyone. All right, so we're already here. Let's go. Where are we? Where do we go? Where do we go? Oh, follow the path. There's only probably only one path to go. Oh. We gotta get rid of this crystal. What is this? It's like a crystal thing to be a flower. It's like a crystal trying to be a flower. It's completely blocked up the path. Yeah, we're not gonna go. We're not going any further with this in the way. Hey, what about what about what you Madon? <laughs> what you Madon? That Pokemon you ride on? Couldn't it smash through? Um, not so sure. Hold on, hold on, please, hold on. This is quite likely a ma manifestation of pure terrestrial energy. We have no idea what might happen if we try to destroy it with brute force. Okay, so what do we do then? Hmm. Huh? Glee, Glee, Glee. There are Pokemon all the way down here. And what's going on with this one? It seems to be charged with some kind of strange energy. Hey, get back! You know you're no, you, you know you're no good in a battle, Miss Briar. <laughs> Kiki, no, Matthew, you should handle this. Damn, Carmen, that was kind of. Harsh. Mora? Alright, let's go. Boop. Just gonna try slice. Ding ding. Whoa. What the shit? What on earth is that energy? It. It couldn't be. It is. Oh, man. Didn't take it out in one hit. Oh, but it's almost done. Water streak and bam. One to the face. Pokemon was hit one time. Lamora fainted. Good work, Matthew. Whoa! Whoa, it disappeared! Did knocking out that sparkling Pokemon make the crystal flower disappear? It's just like that report we found earlier. What we just witnessed was a Pokemon wielding the power of each and every type. That means it must have had the stellar Terra type. Uh, so what's all that about? Wait, that was that supposed to be the so-called hidden treasure we're looking for? I can't say for certain, but no, I don't think so. The professor's note said the hidden treasure of Area Zero is slumbering in crystal form. The Glamora you just fought off doesn't fully fit the description. I don't think it's the Pokemon the professor called Terrapagos. Well, the only way to know is if it was the hidden treasure or not is to keep going. Come on. Karen trying to be the badass, edgy. Still, nah, dude. You gotta be you, Karen. Karen, be you, Karen. <laughs> be you. Stellar Terra Shard. Oh, cool. You can make oh god, that's a thing where you can you can make your Pokemon at Stellar Terra type. Oh boy. That's gonna be insane. I wonder if that's gonna be that's gonna be insane and uh competitive if it's allowed. Like, I don't know. Nihonahi. The car bunk? Sure, I have you. Oh, a, a carbink, and I don't. 
Interesting. Well, a quick ball and a, a quick catch should fix that. Thank you. It has slept underground for hundreds of millions of years since its birth. It occasionally found during it's occasionally found during the excavation of caves. No. I don't want to put carbink in my party. Cool. There's a thing over there. Hydro pump. Cool. All right. Oh, how'd you guys already get over there? What the heck? Could I have jumped over there? No. What is there? It's over there. I thought I saw something shiny. Oh god. No, Karadon. Don't lose it. Whoa! Oh, I gotta fight him. I gotta fight him. Alright, um. Should I go talk to them first? It seems we found another one of those crystal flowers. Could the terrestrial energy be saturating the air? Be. Could the terrestrial energy that's saturating the air be condensing, condensing into a crystal form? Yeah, so okay, yeah, I just gotta go beat it. Um. Let's do that. Come here, you! So, uh, if it's every type, what's it gonna be weak to? Everything or nothing? How does that work? Oh, it first. It frisked. It frisked. It frisked. It's weird. Alright, let's go. Should take it out in one hit then. We're good. This will be quick. This will be quick. Haha, <laughs> look at that eye. Look, look at that face. I don't know why I just said the eye, just because I was looking at the eye and it's the shape of the terrestrial thing. But yeah, I wonder what'll happen if I put Ogre Pond out to against the against Tropagos. I wonder if that'll be a cool uh, Easter egg like there was with Karen. Karen blast him. Nice. Alrighty, squad, we did it. There it goes, going away. Bing. Just like Matthew. Yay! Good job, Matthew, the crystal thing is gone. Huh. All right, let's go. <coughs> Excuse me. That Pokemon's called Coridon, right? Boy, it can really jump. We're on a roll. Let's keep on moving. All right, let's go down. Right, they're already right there, so the other the Pokemon's gotta be somewhere right up there. Gonna be right up there, isn't it? Yep, let's just go. I don't even need to go talk to them. 
That's a curb bank. No? Okay. There's two here. Hmm. What happens if I beat the car bank? <laughs> oh wow, the brick break didn't do more damage. I really thought the brick break would have done more damage, honestly. That's a wild way away. Watching, watch your footing. As if you slip and fall into the abyss, you won't be. We won't be able to save you. Thanks. Okay, so. All right, let's just go this way. It's clear. We gotta go get that one. Max revive. Okay. Outrage, that's new. I already have a Glimat, right? I'm pretty sure I had the whole line. I couldn't remember if I had the whole line. Yes. We're good. This is Sandy Shocks, okay. It's just, yep, I'm just, I know, it's just a potion. I'm not gonna, he doesn't need more than that. Hardstone, Stardust, normal. All right, let's go. They said, but I feel offended. So I shall dispose of them. That's what you do. Oh my, that thing is spinning fast. Use ice beam. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Greninja. Thank you. Oh, Norvern leveled up. that other one cleared up too hey Matthew the path opened up you couldn't just like I wish I could just you couldn't take me with you, you can take me with you what's over here fire blast all right come on cry on you can make it you can make it. Alright, come on. Up you go. Up you go. Alright. I'm gonna go see if that other crystal is out of the way too, so I can go check the other room. 
Oh, god dang it. It won't let me. It won't let me. Sorry, we, uh, we have you doing all the work. We really appreciate it, Matthew. Now then, it appears that the terrestrial energy around us, us is growing more dense the further down we go. Come, we've no time to lose. No time to lose, except I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go, and it's still not uncovered. Whoa, what is this? What is... What is happening here? Okay, something. Uh, Crydon's broken. <laughs> oh boy. Did I just fall to the depths? And now I'm at the. No. No, you son of a bitches. Oh god, no. Okay, well, I'm just. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna teleport. Not teleport, but I'm just going to cut to it. That's so lame. That's so lame. Alrighty, let's continue this dive into the depths of Area Zero. Heading down on the crystal path. Don't know where we're going. Can't believe they already made it all the way down there. Like, they already made it down here. Uh, uh. Wow. Okay. Clearly he's gonna be this way. Carmen just staring. There it is. Is that another Sandy Shocks? No, it's a Garganak. It's a Garganackle. Get over here, you. I don't got time for this. Look at that tree. He's all terrestrialized. Giga ga 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 ga. Okay. This should be easy. Yeah, do your whole thing, it ain't gonna matter. Does it, can they not in, die in one hit if they're terrestrialized? Does it always do that? Or that's just because I'm not strong enough? Well, I hope it's not the latter. Pokemon hit. Gorkonackle fainted. Fainted. There it goes. Okay, Kiki, your turn to call over Matthew. Maybe he'd rather have you do it. Quit your blabbering! Just do it! Hey! The path opened up! We can keep going! Cool. Karen, you're a good guy. Come on. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, you guys didn't go ahead of me. How kind of you. Well, Kiki, isn't there something you wanted to say to Matthew? No, not really. Just feels like we're all relaying a bit too much on him is all. We should keep going. Hmm. Guy's yeah, so stubborn. <laughs> you two are simply dazzling as always. Just so you know, we were also fending off wild Pokemon while you were away. So me and my team were just about spent. Sin Sinister's got Sinister's all I've got left, so if something happens, you better save me. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Just, why, if you guys didn't walk off. Holy shit. My Terra Orb, I think it's reacting to something. 
You're right. Mine is too. I'm picking up a truly astounding level of terrestrial energy. We gotta be close. It seems to be coming from in there. Are we finally at the finish line? The hidden treasure? Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, I can't wait another second. The truth behind the Scarlet Book is so close now. What? Not you too? Those two sometimes, I swear. Well, we gotta go after them, so don't just stand there. Is that a... Nope. Okay, I thought I saw an item. Whoa, a lot of, a lot of crystals. Pretty trippy looking. Like, the outline of me, I look weird. Whoa. Right, that's my phone. Damn it, why is my phone always on? What is this place? The vibes here are a total different level. The hidden treasure, where is it? There, Kieran. Up ahead, there's something among those pillars. The stone's the hidden treasure? Give me a moment. I just need to check something. If I can get the tre if I can get the hidden treasure of Area Zero, I I can finally beat Matthew. Kiki, you're still going on about that nonsense? Shut it, sis! Matthew has everything I ever wanted. He's got strong Pokemon, he can go anywhere he wants, and he could be friends with anyone. I loved Ogrepon since forever ago, but even Ogrepon chose him over me! But Kiki, you did your best too. Even you, sis. You were being all nasty toward him at first, but then boom. You were like best friends in no time. I, well, I've got nothing. I've worked so hard for what? I'm, I still lost in the end. This, this is all I have left now. I found it to the crystal is definitely what we're looking for. Go on, Karen, pull with everything you've got. Show us the hidden treasure of Area Zero, Briar. It's just totally not even paying attention to the whole problem going on right now. There's no doubting it. This crystal must be Terrapagos. Whoa. <laughs> no. You're mine. That was Terrapagos? You caught it, right? F finally. Well, the very well done, Kieran. The fact that you brought along a Master Ball says when you were well prepared for this. Now I can study Terrapagos whenever I want, but there's no time like the present. Think you could give us a little demonstration of Terrapagos' power right now? Well, you heard her, Matthew. I'm also itching to see what Terrapagos can do. Get ready so we can start. Oh shit. Okay. Are we are we ready? Are we are we ready? Are we doing double battles again? Yeah, let's go. Alright, let's just uh, are we doing double battles again, bud? Are you ready? Yes. Alright, get in position. You want me to turn around or like what what? Never mind. <laughs> I hope you've braced yourself. This time I'll definitely beat you, Matthew. You're challenged by Pokemon trainer Karen.
Is that it? Go, Tropico, show Matthew what you're made of. Tropagos, the indigo disc. Whoa. So this is the hidden treasure's true form? With this, I can win for sure. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying. What? Not very effective. Earth power. What about some water? Take some water to the face. You cold? Are you thirsty? Ta-ta! Have another! How about one more? Critical hit! How about... Oh, wow! You can get critical hits even at a time like this? What are you, the hero of this story? Yes. How about another? One more for you. Take it and go, kid. How about another? Earth power! How about the power of water? Double team! See if this helps. Yeah, I'm still getting hit. That's fine, just attack. I drew a pump. Let hit. It did. Terrapagos' power should be far greater than this. Could it be we're missing something? Come on. Damn, how is it? Goddamn earth power. That's okay, don't worry. The water shuriken's gonna do it. And a one. And a two. And a three. And a four. It's not gonna do it even if it yeah, it's still not gonna do it even with the five. Oh uh, no. Come on, miss, miss, miss. Nope, it's not missing. Great. Fine, bring out Ogre Pond. God damn it. Ooh, fighting is super effective against it. What is it, normal, ice? Huh, it has weakness? I thought it was the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Like, yeah, everything's got a weakness, dog. Now I'm gonna catch it. Watch out. W why? I thought if I had just had Terrapagos, if I had the hidden treasure of Area Zero, it would make me stronger. I thought I'd let him me beat... I thought I'd let me beat Matthew. Kiki, that's enough. It's time to stop this. No, something's not right. Its terrestrial energy output is far too low. Not to mention the fact that it looks too different from the illustration in the Scarlet Book. So, Terrapagos isn't the hidden treasure of Area Zero? No, I'm sure it is. We've been... M we must be missing something. A way to transform it into the treasure. Why does she... How does she have the Scarlet Book? Didn't frickin' the robot Sada take it away? Didn't Sada bot take it away? To the past, wherever she went. Of course, Terrapagos is made of terrestrial energy. Karen, you must terrestrialize Terrapagos this instant. My hunch is correct. Terrapagos will resonate with the energy from your Terra Orb. And the hidden treasure will finally reveal its true brilliance. Got it. Got it. Yeah. I knew it! The Scarlet Book was right! Terrapagos is in its fully awakened form! This is the hidden treasure of Area Zero! Oh, baby! It's beautiful! Look at the little Terrapagos, like, statue on top of itself. It's like that meme where, like, Barack Obama is giving himself the medal, but, you know, it's changed through so many things, like, ooh, Coridon? Is that a... Aw. Uh, is that another Crydon or is it that one? 
anyone. Oh, I don't know. I can't remember. Things are getting out of hand. Kiki, you should return Terrapagos to its ball. Uh, okay. Come back, Terrapagos. Um. Huh? It won't go back inside. Why? It's too powerful. I am now above. I am above you, mortals. I have surpassed you, mortals. Oh shit, we gotta fight it. Let's go, Ogre Pond. Its energy output is way going haywire. We're all in serious danger. I'm sorry, kids, but please, you need to stop Terrapagos. Come on, Kiki, we need to do something. You need to do something, too. We've got to get Terrapagos under control. No, 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 this wasn't supposed to happen. This is all my fault. Yeah, and you need to do something about it. Oh, he's got a whole shield on the whole... Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. It's super effective and it doesn't do shit. It's using a barrier to reduce damage? In that case, terrestrializing your Pokemon might help. Yeah, I just tried to, but I gotta wait. Kara Starstone. Oh my. Matcha gotcha. Here, a star storm again. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be hard. Nice, we burned it. Now is your chance. Use Terrasalize Pokemon to strike back. I don't want to... Here, it's just... Like, not... Like, you're useless right now, bro. I'm going to heal, though. Sorry. I don't want to Terrasalize when he's already that low. Rage Powder? Same thing. Sorry, Sinishcha. Oh god, is it am I gone now? Oh hopefully come on Kieran, please do something. Oh no, my Sinishcha's knocked out. This isn't good. It's just too strong. Kerpites burn. Come on, Ogre Pond. Use your legendary might to mash that mythic Pokemon. Show them that legendaries are just as good. Nice. Boom. Has it come to the onslaught and broke its stance? Sort of terrestrial energy, what? Oh, you sicko! You sicko! What, it absorbed terrestrial energy? Yeah, clearly. Energy has begun to gather around Tropagos again. Jesus Christ! Changed its type. It put up another barrier of such strength. Did it use terrestrial energy it absorbed to do so? You need to get in there and battle, Kiki. Matthew is doing all the work. It's no good. I'm useless. Yeah, when you with a with a with a attitude like that, sir, you are. 
Damn it, not very effective on that one. A Zen headbutt. Oh. I think Ogapon is done. You did great. You did great, buddy. You think Ogre Pond fainting would like kick Kieran into like gear, be like, ah, Ogre Pond, no! You know, I would think so, because he loves Ogre Pond so much. No, now Matthew, try to slide your Pokemon once so it shines once more. I thought she was telling me, no, not him. <laughs> like, what's wrong with, what's wrong with my, with my, uh, Skeleters? Why am I forgetting Skeleters' name right now? Do a torch song. Then I'll at least get my uh, special attack up. God, no. Yep. That is super effective against me. Leftovers. Yay. Use the Terra Blast. Okay, so... Um, the shield's gone, but... It's gonna like absorb my energy again. Damn it. Meow. Wow. It absorbed terrestrial energy yet again. It surely it can't keep doing that over and over though. Kiki, Matthew's in trouble. You need to help him. I, I can't, I can't help anyone. Oh God. Come on, Kieran. Come on. Yeah, again. Super Kieran. Nice Hydra Apple. Travagos used that he changed his typing again. Oh, okay, I'll help out too. Thank God. Honestly, better late than never, I guess. The two of you need to clean up this whole mess. Skeleters recovered. Do it. Ah, uh, not very effective. Frick. He's a water pulser. Ooh, a critical hit, too. Yeah, covered in syrupy candy. Come on. Here's a shadow ball. Yeah, that has more. No. It didn't do anything. Well, goodbye, Skeleters. You did great. You did great, buddy. Oh, he's, he held on. Thank you, buddy. I, I don't feel sad, but... I wanted to, to put a different Pokemon in. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping would go down. Just do a Terra Blast, see if that does better damage. Okay, well... Did something. Dragon Chew. What? 
getting pumped. He's so pumped up. Yeah, I'm um, sorry, buddy. You did great. You did great. Come on, Amoongus. It's training an energy ball. Faster than normal, come on. Dressless. Boom. He's dark, baby. Nice. Get me pumped. Lungus is getting pumped. So pumped. Super effective on a Moongus, that's great. Okay. We got one more shield to go after this, probably. Succumb to the onslaught and broke his stance. Ah, oh, man. What the? It looks like he can't absorb any more energy or put up another barrier. Time to attack! Time to end this, you two. You have my permission to go all out. Thanks again. Why do, why do we need your permission? I don't need your permission. Uh-oh. Oh, Amoongus. Nice. Come on, Kieran. Finish it. Yes. You did it, Karen! You even finished it! You did it, buddy! Maybe it'll go inside a ball now? Maybe it'll go inside a ball now! That's why I read that terribly. I know I'm, I can count on you, Matthew. You got this! What? A love ball? A uh, fastball. Do a love ball. Because I love this Pokemon. It is a cute little turtle. And it's pretty cool, I think. Like, all the types and the terrestrialization come from it. Beep, boom. Terrapagos was caught! <laughs> Is it over? Is everyone okay? Yep, how about you? I I'm fine, thank you. Perfectly unharmed. I let my obsession lead you all into a very dangerous situation. It's simply inexcusable. I'm so sorry, everyone. You should be. You're completely fixated on this terrestrial stuff. You gotta keep your obsessiveness in check. Yes, you're absolutely right. I... I messed up, too. I looked up to Matthew for so long. I wanted to be like him so badly. I didn't know what else to do. But I guess I just didn't have it in me to be like him after all. Finally, finally I can let it go. You're really cool too. But, but I just... Sniffle. Wow, well, oh god, he's crying again. I swear I made you... I've got such a silly younger brother. Sniff, you finally let it go. Oh god. Oh, you two must have been so scared. But you all shone brilliantly just now. You were truly dazzling. And in the end, our Matthew even managed to catch Terrapagos. 
So I think we consider ourselves, I think we can consider our little expedition into Area Zero good and finished. Time to head back to Blueberry Academy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the shit? What the heck? Oh, uh, well, what fun. We got a, leg a mythic Pokemon. I'm guessing Terrapagos is mythic. You know? Mythic. Whew, finally home. I need to get in touch with Gita. No scratch that. I need to, what? Hey, Matthew. Look, I know I caused a lot of trouble for the League Club and everyone. I wanted to give every I wanted to give everybody oh shit, including you, Matthew. God dang it. I didn't read it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So and um I guess what I'm trying to say is I wanna make things right. So do you think we could start over from zero and be friends again? Of course. Hey! We're gonna leave you two behind if you don't hurry up. <laughs> yeah, everything's good and classic anime ending with the pan out and everyone's like, yeah, we're all friends. Yeah. Woo! Area Zero Hidden Treasure. The hidden treasure of Area Zero is now done. That's it. Oh god, oh are we oh god, is this gonna be another Uh oh. I'm just gonna oh god. Well this is music, I hope it's not copyrighted because the last one was, so that's gonna That's not gonna be good. But thank you everybody for watching. The DLC is now complete. Hello Cora, she has to tell everyone she's happy. It's all over now, we're done. That's the DLC, that's all of Violet Scarlet and Violet. That's all of Scarlet and Violet. Um, I don't think they're gonna do anything after this. They're not doing anything more for it. They're going on to the next thing, which I think is the Pokemon ZA or whatever the hell that is supposed to be. But thank you everybody for watching. It was fun. I liked it. I mean, the story was okay. Kieran was wah, you know, whatever. But Carmen was cool. I liked Briar. Uh, the Blueberry Academy was cool. I liked all the Elite Four and Drayton was funny, you know. Um, so yeah, I would overall say it was fun. It was cool. Ogre Pond was cool. Terrapagos is cool. Uh, I feel like it was just, I don't know, maybe rushed a little at the end with Terrapagos. It wasn't as much about, it was just like, oh, here he is, catch him. And then we got him. Nothing like why he's, why he causes the terrestrialization or whatever. I don't know. I figured it would have gone a little bit more in, into that. But either way. Go check out my other stuff on my channel because I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. Uh, and also, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Comment down below whatever you'd like to comment. Hit the subscribe button to support the channel. Also, hit the little bell button by the subscribe button so when I put more stuff up, you will know about it because you will want to. There's going to be a lot more exciting stuff to come after this. Even though Scarlet and Violet is done, there might be more Pokemon in the future. Who knows? I'm no. I know. Because there, there will be. It just, it's when is the time. Or when is it? Not if. Only when. But go, go check out my other content. All of my other content is... You'll like it. I guarantee you. Also, I would say play this game. If you didn't get the DLCs, play them. They're fun. They're pretty interesting. Cool Pokemon, new stuff, you know? What are those, Ho-Ohs? <laughs> that Drayton was eating, those e empty Ho-Ohs he just left out. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I can't thank everybody enough for watching. I can't thank everybody enough. I just really, ooh, there's Tropicos. Oh, that tree is cool. The picture of that tree. I like that. I hope this song isn't... <laughs> I hope this song isn't copyrighted because the last one was for the ending of the of the main game in a freaking Ed Sheeran song. So hopefully I can I'll have to get yeah out of this. Oh now it's just the no more pictures. Can I go past this? Can I edit it? Can I speed this up? Can I speed it? Can I sped it? Oh I don't know. Either way though, 
I'm just gonna have to, yeah, I'm, I'm, that's it. That's it. I'm done here. Thank you everybody again so much. I hope everybody has a great day. Most of all, remember though to uh, stay dramatic. <laughs>